Just finalize on the word we began, Jana, from Exodus 1 and Matthew, <coughs> Matthew chapter 2, verse 13 to 17. Jana to Leona reality is uh, the realm of the spirit will is in a manifest here on earth. So before anything happens here on earth, it shall already happen in the realm of the spirit. Yeah. So na, na fact ni kwamba, the devil can sense whatever God is about to do. Mm -hmm. When God is about to do something really great here on earth, or even in your life, take to for instance, in your life, when God is about to do something great, great, great in your life, kunavile the enemy senses this something that is God is about to do. Ye hajuangi, because he cannot see or he cannot tell what God is going to do. But the the celebration and the anticipation in the realm of the spirit, he can sense that there is something that God is about to do. So. So because of that, Atafanyati will just create chaos to destroy the destiny or to destroy whatever God is about to do. Ata create two chaos. For instance, Ukiangalia, yeah, for if you are really, really sensitive when in the things of the spirit, if you are really, really sensitive, you will notice that God is even doing something new in our generation, yeah. God is doing something new, something great in our generation, right, right, right now, in our times, right now, in 2021, 2022, God is doing something new, something great and something new and something really awesome in our time, okay? Just like the time of Jesus and just like the time of Moses when they were being born, yeah, Uliona, the, the enemy, the enemy created a lot of chaos because he sensed there is a delivery somewhere, amezaliwa, and there is a redeemer somewhere, amezaliwa. And because his work is just to come kill, steal, and destroy destiny, he was busy creating chaos, massacring people because he knows this redeemer, Aki, grow up. He's going to redeem the people of Israelites. And this savior and this deliverer, once they grow up, they are going to deliver or redeem the people of God to, to God himself. So he will not allow that to happen by creating chaos and creating all that. But because God is an all-powerful God, he will not even allow the enemy to go anywhere <laughs> with, with his agenda and with his, with his assignment. He will not allow that. So if you're sensitive in our time, you will notice that these are the times God is raising up warriors, God is raising up good powerful preachers, God is raising up powerful men of God. Even you at your workplace or even at your school, God is raising you to be that that student who is powerful, who will stand out, who will be a remnant in that school, yeah, who will speak the truth and who will be the flag bearer of Christ. You are one of them. You are a partake of the, what God is doing in our generation. You could be feeling it in the spirit and resisting it. Don't resist it. Please, just pursue it. Be the part, be part of what God is doing right now in our time, okay? God is raising a new generation to fulfill his purpose, to fulfill his mandate. And the enemy is aware of it. He's not sure who, where, so he's creating chaos in everyone's life. <laughs> yeah, he's creating chaos everywhere. By how, how in our time he's doing it differently, you can check out our media. There's a lot of graphic content. He's trying to distract you. You can check out even our friends. Some of our friends will try to mislead you in doing other things. Go, the enemy is creating chaos. You can check out, there's a lot of alcohol, abuse of drugs, there's a lot of um, sexual immorality, there's a lot of even bad content, graphic content yeah, in our media. That is part of the enemy's chaos, just to, to ensure distracting us, killing the destiny of men, killing and destroying and stealing what God is about to do but he will not prevail in Jesus' mighty name. Because the can to ensure you just don't enter your destiny. If God has, has purposed for you, has purposed for you to be that powerful man of God, my friend, the enemy will distract you proper. He will make sure he kills you or destroys you or waste your time. Because he knows, he knows where, where. once you just know the truth, you'll be so powerful and you'll be so powerless, yeah? He's creating a lot of chaos. So just be aware. Despite him creating a lot of chaos, God is preserving his generation in our time. God is doing it. And you could be wondering, how can I be part of it? You know, how can I be part of this, this good thing that God is doing? The raising up of a new generation, a new breed for his purpose. How can you be part of it? It's just easy. Confessing it in your mouth and believing it in your heart that God 
that Jesus Christ is your savior. Maybe you want